Okay, hi everybody. As I promised, I'm gonna make a short video about the project I was working on. And this is the project Alive, which is done for CG Society Competition Trust. And in this project, I wanted to design something new and totally awesome. I hope I did it. So, put a lot of effort in it. And hopefully, the judges will also like it. So, the project. The initial idea of the project was to design something which is going to be a little bit like an animal, a mechanical animal. As you can see, a lot of references that I was pulling out, these are just some that I used for the main board. And on this board, I'm showing how it all can be combined in a simple object. A lot of military stuff, as you can see, chopper, choppers, airplanes, turrets, mechs. But also, one very important, actually two very important images are on the top, and that's Animal Squid and famous design of the Matrix. Because I wanted to have a vehicle which can move like that. It had to be mechanical, but it had to look like a, a live organic object. Can you imagine something that's moving around and changing its proportion form so it can uh, attack faster, better? I think it's very cool. So initial sketches, as you can see, the first initial side view is the biggest one here, and I wanted something slick, you know, something that can be dangerous. While I was observing a lot of animals, when they are dangerous, they look very slick, elongated, like a snake, like a fishes that have poison, like a spider. All of them have that elongated parts, which are very deadly, you know. And also, they are very very slim and slick so that had to be in the design but the main problem was how do I combine the industrial design with the, this form proportion how do I do it there's a lot of going back and forth these are just some sketches this is the initial sketch where, where when I did it I knew immediately what, what I'm gonna do with it you know immediately there was an opportunity in my eyes and I pushed it forward so eventually, thank, thankfully to the ZBrush, which is an amazing software I use, it, use on a daily basis for my hard surface modeling, I came up with a design like this. As you can see, it has four elongated tentacles, like a squid, like an octopus, and they can mechanically move. While I was designing it, there was a big problem, because it looked too much organic or too much mechanical. I overcompensated by making surfaces more angle, uh, more rectangular, rounded, and mechanical parts, they had to be at some, a lot of details, you know, because I was running too much when something is too organic, for example, Ferrari. Ferrari is doing that by putting some great headlights and some great detail that your eye catches. All Italian design is like that. And I really tried to incorporate Italian design in this and make it look cool and awesome. Also, the point of this, the, this competition was to have a lot of weapons and guns. So it had to be an agile fighter which is really fast, but it also had to have a lot of guns. And I was thinking like crazy, how can I do this, how can I improve this? And it was done, it was done easily by making those mechanical joints, which became the main part of my vehicle. As you can see, also the blueprint was made and it's patented, so you don't try for this to copy it. Of course, I'm joking about that, and you can do it whenever you want because it would please me to see that people like my work and they are changing something. Flag, very important detail. Why? Because CG Talk still didn't change Yugoslavia on their website, and uh, I was born in 1987 in Belgrade, Yugoslavia. In that time, that was a country of five countries now. Uh, there was Croatia, Bosnia, Montenegro, Macedonia, Slovenia, Serbia, and because of that, I wanted to make something cool, you know, because the country meant a lot to two people before, and I wanted to make something that's gonna represent the old Yugoslavia with its colors, with the Dalive project, and I put the main three modes, which I'm gonna talk about in short. And I took blue, white, and red, and combined it all and made it cool. So the first official render, actually this wasn't the first official render, but I designed this 
So I can present two modes here. One is a space mode, and the second one is uh, sorry. And the second one is uh, mode Falcon, which I'm going to talk in a bit while. This mode is very important, and uh, it is presenting the protecting server mode. As you can see, I put it under the Broncos Bridge. This is the main bridge in Belgrade, which connects two parts of the city. It's the bridge that I cross every day when I'm going to the city and back. And as you can see, the rockets are attacking. It had to be very dynamic, like they are attacked, because that's when the protecting serve mode turns on. And the guns start firing, and the vehicle starts protecting itself from the rear. So that's, that doesn't exist in any other vehicle out there. So here are the five modes that I'm talking about. Five basic modes that can incorporate in sixth, but I never presented the sixth because the sixth I'm still hiding for the last render, which I'm going to do after the competition. It's a mix between three of these, and let's talk about each of them. Let's first say that they're landing, falcon, protect and serve. Epsilon pose space. So space is the mode which is used in the space. Epsilon pose is for normal cruising. Protect and serve is for a fight when it can fight but protects itself. Falcon for a really fast movement and landing when it positions itself. First mode. This is Epsilon mode. For me that's a casual driving. So you're entering your vehicle and you're driving and you can relax in it because there is no attack, there is nothing, and you're in Epsilon pose, which is the most not very dynamic pose, but you can cruise around, check. This is when you're on the land, this is, you can use it in the space, but this is basically for the land. There is no need for shooting, if you get attacked, you will get to the other mode, but this mode is for normal, you know, like a poli police when he cruises around the block. Space mode. So this mode, it turns on by rotating the tentacles to the front and those tentacles in the front protect the passenger because in space mostly when they're firing they're fire, firing face to face front to front so if it points all the guns in the front it can shoot autonomously six gun, guns immediately also there are rockets which you can see here those mini rockets you can fire and those rockets are making more damage than the cannons, but cannons are faster in shooting, especially the rear ones, because the rear ones are needed to protect it when it starts moving faster. This is the protected serve mode that we were talking. So in this mode, uh, it has a rear part which bends and it can rotate and protect the vehicle while something is shooting at it. You can see in the lower part. This lower part is protecting the vehicle by bending the mechanical tentacles and also making this defense mode in which uh, is encrypted energetic fields but at the same time it can shoot from the cannons that are up down doesn't matter it can switch from other, one or two other side and this is really useful, useful when you're attacked from the rear but you're chasing chasing somebody uh, the problem is that when they are attacking at you you need to compensate it with speed the higher speed the more shooting you can do but the slow the when the tentacles move like this to protect it it needs to slow down but there is also one more trick when all tentacles go inside if it's not happening in the space it's better happening in the air the vehicle immediately slows down and you can stop in space and when it does that it can also do that with the space mode you can let them pass you and then start chasing them landing mode i love this mode the most and this mode uh when you park as you can see the whole body opens. The passenger can park in the epsilon pose, but this pose is when it lands on some rough terrain, for example, or something that it needs to protect itself. As you can see, the cannons, they lift up, and put this position, so they are protecting all around. But also the cannons are up if somebody is attacking you from any side. And the main point is that you can enter easier. If you look, the whole front part where the passenger is entering, it opens. And you can get inside. Also, the rockets are in use. But what is fascinating about this pose, you can also use it as a bunker. For example, you need to protect some area on the land. Three of these can land down and position like this, and nothing can pass them because they are shooting at the opponent with their cannons and they're protecting their like land units against tanks and stuff like that. And the last pose 
but not the least, is the Falcon pose. What is the Falcon pose? When you're entering atmosphere, if you're late for a fight or something like that, it can aerodynamically position itself and it can move like 40% faster thanks to its body now, which is like an elongated shark's body or like a falcon. And it got the name falcon because falcon, when it's dying, is the fastest animal in the sky. When it starts diving down, it gets in this position. With the wings in this position, it becomes so aerodynamic that it goes so, so fast. Nothing can stop it in that position. So, in this position, it flies so fast, it's faster than any other vehicle out there. And of course, I had to present it with the render. I would like to thank to Alexander Filimonovic, Sofia Ravic, and Petr Kuzovic because they went for shooting with me. Uh, it's presenting preparation for the flight and the army around it. So it had to be presented like something cool, something spacey, but I wanted it to be on Earth. And that would be pretty much everything about this presentation. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you enjoyed my work. And I hope the judges will enjoy my work. Good luck to all competitors and CG Society. Trust the position. And thank you for watching.